Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS programming. So in this video, we will take a look at the lesson which is related to creation of a criteria for a single parameter which is based on the eval variable. And we are trying to populate criteria on all the rows and flag it on the metric words. So this video is part of the concept which is called as Adam BDS criteria flags. Now let us take a look at the background for criteria flags. In clinical real data analysis, we will often be interested in checking if the collected result meets a predetermined condition or not. So we should be able to tell if the condition is met or not. So one approach is to create a new variable and populate it with a value of y when the condition is met and use a value of n when the condition is not met. And we may also want to capture the condition that we are testing in a separate variable. So for this kind of analysis, we will need two variables, one to specify the condition that we are testing and the second one to populate it with y or n based on whether the condition is met or not. So how does Adam handle these kind of scenarios? So CDISC Adam standard allows us for such type of analysis requirement which is the creation of criteria flag or checking whether a predetermined condition is met or not with the available result on a particular record. So and it has standard variables for this purpose. So we have crit y and crit y fl variables to capture the related information. So this y can be replaced with any number. So crit y variables have to be used to populate a with a short description of the condition being tested. And then the associated crit y fl variable have to be used to populate with y when the condition is met and with n when the condition is not met. Now let us take a look at the input data that we are going to use for this lesson. So here we have our input data. So we are creating this exercise or lesson using vital science data. So we have data collected for, so we only have data for one subject but for two parameters, systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure. Now let us take a look at the specification. So we have the derivation logic provided for crit1 and crit1 fl. So as I mentioned crit y and crit y fl, the y can be replaced with a number of values with a single digit or two digits. So based on the analysis requirement, you can have multiple criteria flags if you have different analysis criteria to be checked for. So we can say for example, we can, can have crit1, crit2, crit3 and so on. So we'll see the derivation logic provided for crit1. So it is mentioning that set to systolic blood pressure greater than 160 on the records where param cd is equal to cisbp. So this is the short description of the condition that we are checking. And then we have the derivation for crit1 fl. It says for the records where param cd is equal to cisbp, set to y on the records where eval is greater than 160 otherwise set to n if eval is not null so we are populating with two possible values y and n so on the records where it is the collected result is exceeding 160 we are asking we are being mentioned to populate as y and on all the other records where result is not missing we are being asked to populate it with a value of n now let us come to the form output and then try to manually fill in that information. So let us try to expand this a little. So we have been given the crit1 definition only for systolic blood pressure and we were asked to populate it with the value of systolic pressure greater than 160 for crit1 when it is cisbp. So we had systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure records but we are asked to populate it only on the records which are for systolic blood pressure. So we have systolic blood pressure all this while so we will be populating it with systolic pressure greater than 116 grade 1 variable on all the records of param cd is equal to cisbp. 
and then let us now come to create one fl so we are asked to populate it with a value of y when the result is greater than 160 so we have a result of 154 here so is it greater than 160 no so the condition is not met so we are populating it with the value of n and then on the next record we have a value of 155 which is again less than 160 so we'll be populating it with a value of n so on the third record we have a value of 175 and this is clearly greater than 160 so this would be y here and on the fourth record we have a value of 172 this again is greater than 160 so this will become y and then we have the fifth record which has a value of 141 but this is not greater than 160 so it will be n so what if we had a missing value here on fifth record so we are not supposed to fill in n here because the specification said we were supposed to populate it as n only when the result is not missing and it is less than 160 so we have manually identified and filled in the information for crit1 and crit1 fl so let us now try to see the program on how to do this so the program would be very simple so we would be identifying the filter and then we are on all the parameters which are corresponding to one which is nothing but our systolic blood pressure on all the records of that parameter we are populating grid one with the value of systolic pressure greater than 160 and within that parameter we are populating a value of y in the grid one fl when the eval is greater than 160 and as an else condition we have checked whether the result is not missing and then populated it with grid one fl is equal to no so this is how we can create some simple criteria flags in atom data sets Thank you for watching and keep learning.